To edit a page in TouchChat, um, typically you want to do a search of, a, of an AAC vocabulary system before adding new terminology. In some of the TouchChat vocabularies, most often on the keyboard page, uh, they do offer a find a word option for you to do a selection. In this case, I'm going to be searching for a place to put my mom's name. Um, and like uh, many other apps, uh, the search results are shown here, and you can click on these to have it guide you to the location on the screen. Um, <clears throat> I actually know, though, that in this vocabulary set, setting the uh, people pages has mom and that's where I I want to put that so that search results not even showing up in this page um, it's one of the things to be cautious about with the touch chat vocabularies some don't have a word search at all and others may not show all of the contents that are actually saved in the system um, however if the system has it uh, the vocabulary set has it. It very frequently will occur on the keyboard page or under the groups page. And you'll be looking for find a word. I'm going to go back to the main page, though, in this example. And I know that <clears throat> under social, I have uh, pages to convey some personal information. So I'm going to navigate to that page and actually um, put my mom's name here. So in order to edit, we go to Menu and choose Edit Page. You're going to see a change in color at the top of the page. It went from tan to this uh, red title bar. It's showing us that the name of this page is called Personal. And now I can select on any of the open locations to do some editing. In this case, we're going to go to this third uh, location and edit this button. I'm going to start by putting my name in here. Scott. And then I can click on uh, two spaces over, edit this button. Put in my mother's name. And skip one more, and I'll put in my dad's name there. Now, if I minimize the keyboard, you'll see it's putting in the button label and message. I can select an image or import an image from my camera or photo app. Uh, if I wanted an image, I'll hit select here and do a search. Now, I was looking for gems. Um, very specific and famous gyms here, but I'm just going to do a search for for man Just to get something generic But with names you might also consider not putting a symbol uh, because that allows you to use a the, the text of the name as a um, more generic button Rather than having a Jim Cantori and Jim Carrey button, you could just have Jim and talk about uh, all of these guys. Uh, so doing a search for man. And I'll go ahead and make a selection for the button if I did indeed want that image there. Nope, I'm going to change this to capital, capitalized. And save. If there's an existing button you'd like to edit, in this case, I put my first name just so I can respond with one word, but they also give me a button here where I can say a full phrase. So I'm going to edit that button and add my name to it. And here the label is going to stay the same. I'm not going to worry about trying to fit everything on there to see, but it's important that the message is complete. So in this case, I'm going to just edit the message part. So it will say my name is Scott. And I'll hit save. And I could add each of these as well uh, with placeholders, but I'm going to stop for now and choose done. So if somebody asks me my name, Scott, I can just reply with a single word and tell you that my mom is Susan. 
and my dad is Jim. And if uh, I wanted to say a full sentence there, I could go in and introduce myself. My name is Scott. With the full phrase.